in this video we will learn about object cloning commands and the sub commands with multiple lie examples like in the play modes are object coordinates and the image as well as select actions or get property set text append text get all children name left click right click and the other actions are there so i'll give you the brief explanations about each and everything so my current requirement is i need to open the www.youtube.com then i need to update my name into the particular text box search box and i need to click on the search button and then i need to extract the particular table informations after that i need to click on the generate button in this web page and i'll extract the particular name from this field so i'll show you how we can get the informations and how we can manipulate all the informations before that already have uploaded few videos about automation with certification interview question and answers download and installation process for task editor trial version SQL commands, recorders and automation anywhere, variables and automation anywhere, as well as the other commands and the subcommands with multiple examples. So when you have a chance, please watch all the videos, like and subscribe my channel. Now directly jump into the object cloning commands. So the first one is I need to update the my name in the text box, search box. Then I need to click on the search button. So I'll show you. For that, first you need to select the window first. YouTube Internet Explorer. Then click on capture then do not release the mouse until the red color highlighted text box will appear yeah here you can see the red color highlighted box is appeared so you just release the mouse after that please ensure this point this one is very very important so once you click on capture then directly if you release the mouse it will not extract the particular property here you can see when you expand this you can see the html path html id name alt tag class inner text type title all the html related informations are extracted in this html values in this criteria you can see all the html values if you want to see inner text by class by id by name everything has been extracted so you can do any actions in the select actions field you can see multiple options get property set text append text using this get property you can get any values like if you want to get html inner text class height id reference left you know anything in the html tags based on the html tags you can get any values using the set text you can update any values into the text box so now my task is i need to update the values into the tinash canon into the text box i'll click on save and the next function is i need to click on the search button for that click on capture hold the mouse until you got the red color highlighted yeah here you can see red color highlighted box so now you can release the mouse so i released my mouse here you can see the results when you expand the category you can see the path and the html id search button and all the values has been extracted like the html tags everything's ready so now my action is i need to click on the button right so here also you can see get property click and the, all the values since the inner text the inner text also available search even you can get the properties after that you can click on the particular buttons validate first way you can validate then click so i'll save i'll save the task and i'll run runtime window has been started it's updating the tinash canon and click on the search button so here you can see the action has been completed successfully perfect so now i'll disable this one the first task and the next one is i need to extract some information from the table so object cloning command first i need to select the window now i need to extract this table information so select the particular window click on capture then drag the mouse into the particular table here you can see the table are highlighted yeah it's done you here you can see i'll expand the category so html id html name html ta tag is table and the inner text within the inner text you can see all the values available within the particular table first name last name age all the informations are available within the inner text table so here you can see all the details like even the html height width 
top left all the css informations also everything is available within the criteria then my select action is here multiple actions are there like even you can export this into csv files all the informations like in the particular table you can directly export this into csv file for that just you need to mention the path csv file path then directly it will exported into the csv file now my task is i need a particular information like in the second row in the second column i need a third value which is jackson it should be displayed in the message box or else it will update it in the any other forms or any other excel spreadsheets now just i need a jackson values second column third value third row values for that here you can see get cell text by text get index by text get total rows so using the get cell text by index you can see row number and the column numbers the row number is nothing but in the row numbers jill eve john these are all rows and the columns are first name last name age these are all columns so based on that you can update the values so now i need second row third column sorry third column second row i am right, right second column third row column number 2 and the row number 3 then i will assign this into variable the clipboard variable so in the message box i will display the variables clipboard variables for that just i need to use the message box in the message box just press f2 clipboard click on insert save save the task then run the window then run the window it will opens the particular inter explorer activated and it will extract the particular information and it will display the particular value like jackson jackson will be displayed in the message box so perfect now we got the results next i'll show you how to get get the total rows count get total columns or total rows so i'll show you how to get the total rows values so here you can see 1 2 3 4 four rows are available within the particular table so i'll assign the same into the clipboard message box so message box is already there clipboard variable will display the exact total rows value total rows count message box you can see the four the exact total rows you have completed like the same you can do multiple op, multiple actions multiple actions are available like get cell search cell by text click cell by index click cell by text click left click right click in the drop down buttons you can use the left click right click and the other functions to get drop down the values pick the values and anything and the main object is you know in the while, while using the object properties it will capture the coordinate as well as the images so if you are using only the coordinates in the legacy technology it's fine uh, when first you should know when we are using the coordination and the image objects so the play modes are image and the coordinates are when the object you cannot you know get the property or you cannot navigate anything at the time you are going to use the coordinates and the image based on the legacy technologies but the recent technologies it's you know you can get any properties or using the object cloning you can do multiple things if you cannot do anything at the time you need to use the coordinates using this coordinates first you need to capture the position of the particular values or text box or anything then you need to do the action select actions and everything you can do like the same in the object it will exactly exactly it will get the html properties like html inner text html id so it cannot be changed in the future also the html id html name html everything will be same but in the coordinates what will happen is based on the mouse position it will update or get any values so it will not recommended values it, it's not recommended option and image based on the image it will works so this one is also not a recommended option just use the object only so next next i'll start with the another option so the generate 
a random number. So first I need to click on the generate button and I need to ex show the particular name available in this. So for that I will disable this item, drag and drop the object loading command, select window, the window name is generator window. First I need to capture the generate button. Some of the times we may got issues, so I will close this one. So I will reopen the Internet Explorer again. Sometimes there is a possibilities of that. You know. And first of all you should know, in order to avoid all the issues, the Internet Explorer zoom size is 100 as well as one more options are there. In the scale and layout settings, it should be 100 percentage recommended. In the settings you can see scale and layout settings, I will show you the system settings. So in the Inter Explorer 100 percentage as well as the scale and layout settings it should be 100 percentage, 100 percentage recommended. So everything should be 100 percentage, then only you can in the display everything should be then only you can uh, know extract the correct values you can update everything. So now I have opened the Inter Explorer www dot fake name generator. I will click on refresh and select the window, click on capture, perfect. Now you can see the results, you know, wherever I am moving my mouse, it got selected. So it is selected, so I will release the release my mouse. Perfect. Expand the criteria. Here you can see HTML ID, HTML name, HTML class, class type, value, and everything is there. HTML type is submit buttons. These are all buttons. So everything is done. Click on save. Okay, I missed to select the actions. First, I need to click. So I'll click. Then, using the object cloning command. I need to get the property. So select the window as generate a random name, click on capture. Here you can see red color highlighted, so just release your mouse after that. Once you clicked on the capture, then directly if you release your mouse, it will not work. So please ensure that you will release the mouse after you got the red color highlighted text box. So here you can see the values, you can see the HTML inner text. So everything has been extracted. So get property, I need a HTML inner text, right? Within the HTML inner text, the names are available. If the values are available in the HTML value, then you need to get property, you need to select the HTML value. Now I need to select HTML inner text. HTML inner text and assign this into clipboard variable. So in the message box, I will display the clipboard variable. Enable, save the task and run. Now the runtime window has been started, it is activated the window, it is clicked on the generate button and now it is exactly here you can see Megan here any it's displayed in the message box so we got all the results like the same you can uh, you know update or get any information from any other things like in the web page you can update modify anything like in the drop down buttons option buttons or check box you can do multiple things using the object cloning commands if that techno technology is very old like legacy technology even you can use the 
object coding command but please ensure that you got all the html objects if you if you not get the objects just go with the coordinates and the image options but that will not a recommended option so please use the other options like that uh, hope you learned something today really thanks for your time thanks for watching bye bye please please subscribe my channel bye bye